All right, Joe. Guess what? I'm off to Lakes again. Just on the train station. Getting a late uh, train to Windermere, and then uh, I'm gonna get a bus over towards Coniston. Uh, wild camp on Hornfell, Ivy Crag, and um, as always, come along, enjoy the journey. people welcome back to the channel as always we're back in the Lake District and um, this time I'm uh, just just uh, just outside Coniston a place called Monk um, just wait for this car to go past so yeah I've uh, got the got the train to Windermere as usual bus over to Ambleside and then another bus over to Coniston um, not far out out of Coniston now um, and I'm gonna take a walk up towards Tyne House and then on to um, Yew Tree Tyne and then finally up onto Home Crag, Home Fell and Ivory Crag. Just another bus going past one minute. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get changed, put some in fact, it's not too bad actually. I'm going to stay as I am. Uh, I'm waffling now, ain't I? <laughs> right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to crack on as usual. Just load my bag up and then um, I'll talk to you in a while. Right, folks, got sorted. Um, got my walking sticks out. Packed me a bit of food I've got from picked up in booths. And we're setting off now into the hills. There's a car coming. Just bear with me as a sec. These bloody cars in traffic. Horrible things. Right, yeah. So, as I said, we've come over from Windermere down into Coniston. I'm going to go for a, a camp up on there. Either Ivy Crag or Home Crag. Um, either one, be nice. It's a bit overcast. It's not raining, so that's not so bad. I do. Try, I am trying to go and take a dip in uh, U Tree Town, but uh, depends how, how warm I get because my core temperature is a bit cold. Uh, and then, I, but obviously when I walk. Um, that should, uh, should, I'm muffling Anna. Shut up. Right, peeps, I've come off the path. Uh, off the, sorry, off the road. Uh, taking a path now. This is going to skirt past Tarn House, uh, on towards Yew Tree Tarn. And then uh, up onto Home Fell. Uh, I do aim to uh, take a swim in Yew Tree Tarn, but I keep saying that. It is a bit chilly, you know me. But what I don't want to do is get too cold and then not being able to warm up. Uh, I do prefer to do it in the morning, but we'll see. Um, again, beautiful, overcast, quite moody, fantastic. So, I'm going to uh, crack on, as usual. And then uh, what I'll try and do, um, I'll bring you back up to U3 Tarn. 
I'll chat around. I'll probably have a brew or something there. It's got a nice little area. I'll show you around there. So, yeah. Right folks, another change of plan. I went um, towards home home fell. Um, 
and it looked tragic that my butt and uh, I walked about three and a half mile and I, I didn't fancy going up that. It was an easy way around, um, but I decided I'd take that on the way home, so it's not not so uh, not so bad on the knees, but uh, it didn't work out. So I've come down to U Tree Town. I'll show you around in a minute, and um, I'm going to do a cheeky pitch on the shores. You're not meant to, but if I leave it till it's uh, goes good dusk, I'll, uh, I'll I'll slap the tent up. Just just. Hold on, just down there. Should just get it in there. But yeah, look at that for a view. Not bad, eh? So, it's a bit early yet. The road's not just over there, so I don't want to get uh, caught because I'll have to get moved on. And uh, I'm fucking miles from anywhere. I get myself in these predicaments, but this is why we do it. Challenging ourselves all the time. So, um, I've got a couple of hours to kill, so I'm just going to sit here and just uh, watch the world go by. So, I'll speak to you in a bit. So got all sticks and stuff out of way. So I'll uh, just slowly put it up. Uh, and, uh, hopefully it'll be right. Till I get in, I'll do it properly for you. It's a bit air at the moment. All right, peoples. I've just been chilling in tent, listening to the rain. It's dark. Um, I've got some food, and I just can't be out cooking it. Uh, all right, folks. 
see what I can do here. So, let's get set up. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to set it up and see what, see if I can be arse cooking, but if not, I'm just going to make a hot chocolate. I've got some Jaffa cakes. I'm not actually that hungry. I've gone past the fast now, so I usually just don't eat now at this time. Um, so I think I'll just have an hot chocolate. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Bring you back in a sec. Right, folks. Jaffa cakes. Who doesn't like Jaffa cakes, man? Full packet. I've been good. I've not ate nothing crap for six weeks now. Everything's been good. So this is um, a bit of a treat for me. Probably give me shits. <laughs> I've been digging all of it back at fucking tent in a bit. My big rosy cheeks. Good healthy living, that. Skin's cleaning up as well. That detox was the best thing I ever did. Wow. Never felt as good. Physically and mentally. Although, as I said, I had a bit of a a blip over the last two days. Uh, yeah, shut up. <sighs> not on peeps. Um, yeah, I've not much. I've not much to say to be honest uh, tonight. I was proper chilled out. I didn't look at hard that late before, just chilling. Just, uh, just proper relaxed. I, I had quite a lot to say. I, I, I have got a, a new camera. Uh, yeah, it's an Action 4 action camera. It's like the equivalent to the GoPro 11. Um, but by all accounts, this is a bit better. So I went for the Action 4, DJI Action 4. Um, yeah, it seems really good. I've, there's loads of settings on it and stuff, and it might not be brilliant at the moment, but I'll uh, I'll get it sorted. You know me, don't do things by air. So yeah, I'm just um, just chilling. Not sure I'll I'll make that food. Can't be bothered. Uh, I'll be hot chocolate. I've just had them um, Jaffa cakes. I'm tired to be honest. I think I've been tired for the last few days. Mad, innit? I've not had any junk for five, look, six weeks now. I've been eating proper healthy. Cold pool every day. Uh, I've lost coming on nearly two stone. So I must have been a fat lump because I'm still, still chubby. <laughs> Right, folks, 
Thought I'd be arsed anyway. I'm tired. So I'm going to say good night. As always, if any of your arse critters come, I'll bring you back. Otherwise, I'll see you in the morning. Do an early start as well, because I want to get back and catch that bus at quarter to 11. So, it's about a three mile walk from here. I'm going to go a slightly different route, so it might be a little bit easier. Uh, so, yeah, I'll catch you in the morning, people. Sleep well. Morning folks, uh, it's about half five, um, it's a bit early, but um, this is why I camp out, my brain is so clear now, look at this morning, I'll, I'll show you, watch this, awesome, if you can't appreciate this, you, you, you are lost in the matrix, because this is just wonderful, enjoy this. not amazing that's what it's about complete reset just feel a bit groggy coming into this camp and uh totally changing around again put me right back absolutely amazing i talked to i talked to you a bit more about it on the way back um yeah speak, speak to you in a bit Right folks, I don't know if you can hear me, I'm just testing the new camera, I don't know what the microphone's like on it, but anyway, I've got, I give myself, I needed to leave here for half seven, and it's now seven, five past seven, I've still got to take the tent down, I, sh I might just be able to squeeze, getting in there, I really, really want to, but what I can't afford to do is leave here than, any later than half seven, if I miss that bus, I miss my, my train. Uh, and I know there's some quite a few downhill sections which take me a long time And I'm not trying to talk myself out of it or anything like that because I would like nothing better than just getting in there right now um, You know what I'm like So let me strike this tent and see if I can push it So keep it real people Right, all cleaned up as usual, leave no trace, a couple of footprints, absolutely stunning location, fortunately I'm not going to get a chance to, uh, to get a dip, it's half past now, I need to get off, I don't want to miss that bus, absolutely gutted, look at that, just look at that, anyway, all packed up, I've got an orange for Brecky. And cut that open, get that scrammed and then get off. So I'll speak to you later on when we're on the trail. I'll tell you tell you a few little uh, updates. So until then, 
Speak to you in a bit. yesterday so let me just check my map which way we're going from here <sighs> so we could go that way that'll bring us out down the path that we came yesterday which was it's probably doable or I can actually go down down the road this way Quite steep down here, but uh, it's just a straight drag right down to the uh, to the road. So I think I'm going to do that one. As I say, I'm conscious of getting this bus. I think I've got plenty of time, but um, yeah. So I'll uh, show you some footage as we're going along. There's not much to see. I'll show you around in a minute, and then uh, as we say, we'll crack on. This is the road that takes you around Torin House. Beautiful, beautiful spot. We'll go there one day. I think it. Do, I think it's uh, part of the um, Cumbrian Way part two, which I've still got to do. So I'll uh, I'll show you that when I do that this year, because I've done part one, so part two to come. So yeah, for now, let's crack on.
right folks you don't believe this <laughs> so I comes out at that bottom of the path where I was there uh, due to catch the bus and just as I got there a bus was literally passing so I flagged it down got on it got to Ambleside back in Windermere it's only 10 o'clock <laughs> which is fantastic but my train's not till 1 so I did have definitely had time to uh, to go for a swim so we learn we live and learn people passing there looking at me because I'm talking to myself <laughs> the adventures of a vlogger eh so yeah um, plenty of time to kill so I'm gonna go down to that butter shop I think it was called the cow shed got me sell a butter this morning and a brew and a cake um, so yeah, kind of went smoothly, but I definitely had time for a swim. The walk I took, um, I came back, took me an hour. Um, the walk going there took me three hours. So that's what I kind of penciled in to, to get myself back in time. So yeah, plenty of time to kill. It's, it's just, just turned 10 o'clock now, my train's at one. Uh, <laughs> so I definitely, definitely had time to uh, go for a swim. So I'm a bit gutsy with that, but it is what it is. So yeah, um, just want to say, just a quick one. Um, I've been absolutely fantastic the last six weeks. Not had a beer for six weeks now. Uh, moved on to better things. That's never going to happen again. again. Again, I'm not putting a chain around my neck or, a, you know, I'm, I'm just moving on to better things. It's not needed in my life right now. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, been in the cold pool every single day for this past six weeks and unless I was been camping just one minute just past this lady so yeah um, obviously we're doing the fasting um, 18.6 plus I did the 72 hour fast I think I've lost nearly coming on two stone uh, so yeah everything's brilliantly brilliant However, I've, I've got a couple of things that I've been kind of challenging in the uh, in the 3D realm, you know, the uh, what, what they call the real world, what I call the matrix, um, and a couple of things have come come to head. So I've got I've got to do a couple of letters, and I've let it play on my mind for the last few days, and it's kind of got me down a bit. I felt the black mist coming over, um, so I shouldn't allow it really. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna take this on, I need to be strong so yeah it's a uh, sorry about all the traffic and that I hope you can hear me so yeah it's uh it's just a challenge like everything else in life but yeah that that trip what I'm trying to get at is that trip as that camping and just getting away has actually put me right back in, in touch I'm positive I'm gonna send this letter end of that's me one finished folks look you can hear that the jets are all out over over the lakes amazing sight when you see them anyway um, I'm gonna end the uh, video there I hope you liked um, as always if you've made it to the end cheers and if you haven't already give us a like a subscribe and a ding -a ling ding ding and if you don't know what that is it means notification so anytime I uh, do a new video um, it'll let you know anyway before I end it I just want to give a shout out to a fellow youtuber um, his, his name's Craig as well um, he's a Preston lad like myself and it's called destination unknown van life it's a great little channel um, give, give him a watch and if you if you would send him some love and give him a subscribe um, he, he does van life, sh doing up vans, um, travelling, just basically day to day living in a van. Um, something that I've got uh, earmarked for in the future, but at the moment it is what it is. So, yeah, give him a look. It's called Destination 
unknown van life great little great fella anyway um yeah give me a like subscribe so yeah i'm gonna end the uh the vlog then i hope you hope you uh, enjoyed it as i say i've had nearly two hours to kill in, in lakes i could have been swimming in that uh torn earlier on but it is what it is the past is gone now so let's live for the now so as always people a smile life will smile back take it easy